I'm Victoria and this is what Victoria read. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking through five of my favourite female characters. This is a video a lot of you requested and I thought it'd be fun. So I have literally put, picked five books at random with female characters that I enjoy and I'm going to chat you through them. That's pretty much it. So first book is The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter by Theodora Goss. This is the first in the Athena Club trilogy and I read all three of these books this year and absolutely adored them. I would also highly recommend the audiobook, um, especially for the second book, which is chunky. Um, but this is the first one. So we are following Mary Jekyll and her mother dies and leaves her penniless and an orphan. Her father has died years before. And in order to uh, try and get a bit of money and keep hold of her house and all of that kind of stuff, she decides that she is going to try and track, track down Mr Hyde, who worked with her father and disappeared around the same time that her father died. Um, and her kind of investigation leads her to Diana, who is Mr Hyde's daughter. And it kind of goes from there and they... It's, it's that's kind of all I want to tell you, but they also pick up other girls and women along the way and they form the Athena Club. Um, but the character that I love most in these books is Diana Hyde. I also really enjoy Mary Jekyll, um, but she can be quite kind of tight, laced, you know, and proper. Whereas Diana Hyde is pretty much feral, says what she wants, eats all the time, she's hilarious, uh, she will also put herself in danger to help other people. She's kind of one of those characters that's really got a heart of gold, but is very much like it's hidden quite deep inside. And she just genuinely makes me laugh out loud a lot. Um, the way this book is done, let me see if I can find some examples um, without giving spoilers, is you've got, um, you've got the story being told and then the characters interject. So in this section, um, you've got Justine saying, Diana, I always wondered, what did you do in the baptismal font? And Diana says, I pissed in it. Justine said, yes, I suspected something of that sort. And she's just, like I said, she's feral, but she's actually got a real heart of gold. And that's why she is my favourite of the Athena Club ladies. But yes, highly recommend this series. It's kind of a gothic retelling, speculative fiction, almost fantasy-ish but it's also got a great adventure and a mystery in it found family i absolutely love this series so that had to be on the list the next one is possibly a slightly weird choice and also probably slightly predictable in that the character is elizabeth bennett from pride and prejudice by jane austen but the version of elizabeth elizabeth bennett that i prefer is actually from pride and premeditation by Teresa price now this is a retelling that i read in july i will link my wrap up in the description um and I love Lizzie Bennet, the original Lizzie Bennet, but Lizzie Bennet in this is kind of a lot of the best things from the original in that she's headstrong and she knows what she wants, but with slightly less of the annoying stuff. So Elizabeth Bennet in the original is headstrong to the point of being pig-headed and annoying, whereas this Elizabeth Bennet will take on board what other people are saying. Um, and also I just love this retelling. This takes the characters from Pride and Prejudice and puts them into uh, London and you have two uh, competing law firms. So you have Pemberley, which is um, Mr. Darcy's law firm, and you have Longbourn, which is the Darcy's law firm. And when um, Mr. Bingley is accused of murder, Elizabeth Bennet takes the chance to try and take that case on so she can prove to her father that she should be a solicitor. And it kind of goes from there. And it was just really fun. Again, also with this, as with this one, <laughs> would really recommend the audiobook of this. And yeah, I just, I love Elizabeth Bennet anyway as a character. She's kind of one of those archetypal, strong female characters. But I felt like her character was actually slightly improved in this uh, reimagining of it. So yes, would really recommend this book. Okay, next, you can probably tell if you're familiar with my shelves, you can probably see what is missing and you're going to know which, which female character is about to pop up. Uh, she's my favourite of this trilogy and that's Danny Brown from Take a Hint, Danny Brown. This is my favourite of the books. We know this. I've read them. I read this one twice. I need to reread the others, but this one is still my favourite. And I love Danny because she is just wholly and unapologetically herself. 
she is clever she is interesting she's funny she is also possible she's um also capable of being vulnerable she's fiercely protective of her sisters and you know i want to be danny brown when i grow up basically and i just love her i also love zaf who's who's her love interest but yeah danny is definitely my favorite of the three sisters i also love it when she appears in the other books because she's still very much herself and yes we love we love a strong woman who is also capable of being um emotional and loving and protective of her family so yes okay we've got two left we've got one old lady and a cat i don't know what that says about me but uh the next character that i wanted to choose is joyce from the thursday murder club by richard osman I really enjoy this series. This is a cosy mystery series set in a retirement village and Joyce is our main character. We get a few different perspectives, but Joyce is kind of the character that we follow the most. I didn't just pick her because my grandma's name is Joyce, although it doesn't hurt. Um, I love Joyce in this. I also love my own Joyce, my own grandma Joyce, but Joyce in this is just really warm and kind and funny, but she's also looking for adventure and she's not adverse to casually breaking a few laws um and she's just kind of she's been widowed fairly recently and she's kind of adjusting to life on her own um and she makes some really funny faux pas when it comes to technology particularly in the second book and i just love her she's just one of those characters i just want to sit and have a chat with and a piece of cake and she's one of the reasons i love this series so much is joyce i mean all of the characters are fab in his books but I just feel like Joyce really, really makes it. So yeah, Joyce is one of my favourite female characters. And then the last one for now is from the number two feline detective agency. So this is a world in which everyone is a cat. So everything functions as it does in normal society, but everybody is a cat. And we have um, Hattie, Bagshot and Tilly who have set up um, a detective agency. And I enjoy Hattie, but Tilly's actually my favourite. She's that kind of soft side character who mostly just wants somewhere warm to sit and something nice to eat. And she kind of gets dragged along by Hattie into their adventures. Um, and she's kind of having to find her bravery. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy this series. I've read the first one and then randomly read number eight, which is The Ice Maid's Tale, which is the first one I read because Charlotte sent it to me as a joke. And then I actually ended up really loving it. And I've now got the second book on my TBR. So I'm looking forward to getting to that probably in the autumn. But yeah, I just felt, I was looking at what the books already had and I was like, I think we need Tilly. So yeah, she is my fifth favourite female character. So that was kind of a whistle stop tour through five of my favourite female characters. It's quite a, there's quite a mix. So we've got a cat, an old lady, um, a PhD student, uh, a classic character, and Diane, who I can't really describe without giving spoilers, Diana. Uh, so yeah, these are five of my very favourite female characters. If you've made it to this point in the video, leave me the black cat emoji for Tilly. Let me know who are your favourite female characters and why, and what makes a favourite character for you. Please subscribe if you would like more of this chaos, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks everyone. Bye!